Welcome to Beer and Board Games, folks. It's 9 a.m. Grab your coffee and report immediately to your cubicle because today, what's in store for you is a fiasco. Fiasco is the game of cooperative storytelling and role playing, and I hope over there will cooperate with me and give me a beer. Nut Brown Ale from the South Shore Brewery. Cheers, guys. Tootsie Rolly. Mm, tootsie Rolly, yeah. The flavor hasn't worked itself in quite right. It my... doesn't have a real presence to it. Yeah. It's very thin tasting. Yeah, exactly. It's like the flavor sits on the top too much. Tonight's episode is a fan-sponsored show. We want to thank Crow and Turtle for sponsoring this. Uh, I guess Crow will be sponsoring this episode and Turtle next week's. There you go. If you are a fan of this show and you want to sponsor an episode and have us play a particular game, you can contact us and we can send you details about that. Thanks, Crow and Turtle. And the expansion we're playing is Business Casual from the 1,000 Paper Cuts expansion pack. This is the latest and newest version of Fiasco. Easily laid out with a bunch of cards, negative positive outcomes, your aftermaths, let's not, a new element where if you are upset about something that some someone's given your character made happen you can be like let's not i figured since we're returning to fiasco that it might be appropriate to bring back larry cardboard larry cardboard the plumber survived in the previous fiasco um he was burned badly he his balls were eaten off by dogs you're gonna be larry again i'd like to He's even got the chilled wrench it's, and no nuts. It's actually chilled. <laughs> Aaron, first thing you do is you take a relationship card and okay. you place it between any two players. Can we make Larry an NPC? We could. I want you to be someone else. That might be nice, actually. Larry can be an, an NPC that you control. Okay. So you'll basically be playing like two characters. I like that. So I will put this relationship here. And that is human resources and new hire. I'll be human resources. You be new hire. Okay, I'll be new hire. <clears throat> In that case, then, uh, new hire... And Jaded Slacker. The office scapegoat, me, and the one really to blame, him. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I guess, am the frustrated user, and you are the tech support person? So I'm human resources and tech support. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so next we're going to do that again, except we're going to use the locations, the needs, or the objects. Okay, I have an object. This is master key or custodial key ring. And it okay. says trouble. My relationship here uh, is, a, a, I'm gonna have a location, the cubicle with the odor. <laughs> okay, I can see story building already right here between uh, the scapegoat and the one to blame for the odor. To get away before they find out. We right. are using these relationships and these needs and whatnot to actually now establish who we are. The cards have names on the back, so we have names to choose from. My name is Tyler Karen. My name is Ron Tom Bob. <laughs> My name is Stan Ann. My name is Nina Jackson. All right then, time for act one. Go around the table twice, setting up scenes for each character. What do they want? How will they try to get it? Choose negative or positive outcome cards to see how it goes. And whoever has the best idea for a scene, you can start. Why don't we make it his first day of work? He's the new hire, and so he's talking to human resources. Nina, hi. hi. Welcome to your first day of work. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm so happy to uh, have this job. I'm sorry that I had to keep you waiting. I had to go restart the uh, motherboard of the computer system because oh, no. I'm human resources, but I'm also filling in for tech support right now. We're sort of oh, understaffed a little bit. So. Okay, well, um, what's my job going to be? Um, I, <laughs> am I in charge of uh, the keys? Funny you should mention that Larry Cardboard is our janitor. Oh, is that that weird guy? He's got a burn situation. Yeah. Yeah. He looked rough. Yeah, a little bit. He's actually misplaced the keys at this point. It's funny you should bring that up. Um, but uh, So we're working on that. Well, I'm a go-getter, so you know, just let me know if there's anything bigger you need because I might be a little overqualified for this job. I could probably use some help in the tech support uh, area. I'm familiar and... with computers. I've built over 30 computers. Our motherboard keeps crashing. Oh. Instead of going to your cubicle, why don't you go to the computer room? Maybe you can take a look at it and see if there's something wrong with it. All right, I can do that. You got to resolve the scene now with a negative ending. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
Are you okay? Oh, uh, where's the bathroom? Uh, it's just down the hall. Uh, I can't get down that. I can't. It's it's happening now. Do you have a bucket? Uh, let me page Larry. <laughs> wow, well, there's no time for that. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> Larry Cardboard to Human Resources. Larry Cardboard to Human Resources. Thank you. Can you tell him to hurry? Can you tell me exactly what's going on? I have a, I have a problem with my my butt. Ah, here's Larry. Uh, what, what do you need? <laughs> Did you bring a bucket, Larry? I brought my chilled wrench. That's all I got. Oh, you know, I should have said bring a bucket. I forgot to do that when I paid uh, you. I just told you to come. Oh, you don't need any wrenching? <laughs> no, no wrenching. Okay. All right, okay. well. Could you go get a bucket, please? Oh, yeah, you, you need a bucket? And you need to find that those master keys as well. Those are I've missing. been looking for those, but I just can't figure out where they are. My burns have been acting up. Oh, they hurt. Okay, go get the bucket, please, I'll Larry. keep looking, though. You're getting another call on your phone. Hello, this is Tyler Karen. How can I help you? Tyler, this is your boss, Mr. Stan Ann. Yes. I'm going to need you to help me figure out the uh, the source of a very strange odor that, okay. that is, is wafting from a cubicle down the hall. Okay, well, that seems to be uh, the janitorial st uh, staff's purview, perhaps? I don't think so. I think this is a tech support issue. Mm, okay. I got a lot on my plate right now. I got to tell you. I'm I lot. really have to go. Oh, Larry's bringing your bucket. Uh, if I move, it'll come out. Yeah, I'm having a situation here with our new hire, and I'm also dealing with a tech support issue, and we still haven't found these custodian keys. So, uh, I, you know, I'll get to it as soon as I can. All right, well, you better hurry up. Otherwise, you're fired. Okay, thank you. I got the bucket. Hey, where, who needs it? Uh, Nina Jackson. Oh, here you go, it. Nina. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, is there a closet? <laughs> okay, you could get up and go into the closet, but you couldn't get up and go down to the bathroom? <laughs> Okay, couldn't the scene be able to <laughs> Rated RPG still exists. The Rated RPG podcast ran through an entire adventure over the last three years. And Emery was our delightful dungeon master. It was me and Aaron and Dion Green and Brad Knight as the four main characters. We just embarked on a brand new podcast-only adventure called The Valley of Green Gold. All adventure hooks supplied by the uh, Patreon supporters. You can get Rated RPG The Valley of Green Gold anywhere you can get a podcast. The live stream is a whole other thing called Cult Busters, and that is a stream on Twitch on the last Tuesday of each month. And you can find out all about all of these things, and you can get all the links that you need at ratedrpgpodcast.com. Who are the characters here? What's happening? I'm Ron Tombob. <laughs> I'm just doing my job. Come in. A couple of the other employees have been complaining about the stench coming out of your cubicle. I keep telling you, I heard some raccoons in a vent. I tried to tell Larry Cardboard, mm -hmm. and he was going to deal with it. He says that it's not really a vent problem. He says it's a technical problem. Something with the, uh, the servers or some mumbo jumbo. I'm not really How sure. How are the servers going to smell like a dead animal? I'm just the boss, okay? I, I make the wheels turn. I tell people what to do. I don't get involved in the nitty gritty of, of the of the servers and the vents, okay, Ron? Right. That's what I hire you people for. It's not the servers. Well, I'm gonna need you to get to the bottom of this or else you're fired. All right, it's gonna end negatively for the boss. Stan Ann turns around and walks out and trips over a loose cable in your unkempt cubicle and falls face first into the ground, splitting his nose, spilling blood everywhere. Not my fault, Mr. Ann. <laughs> scene over. I want to jump back to the previous scene briefly. Yeah. Nina and her bucket have left, <laughs> and Larry's gone, and I'm sitting in my office alone, and I have the custodian keys, and I'm fingering them, and I'm sort of giggling to myself. Oh. oh. Secretly, you have those keys. Knock, knock, knock. <sighs> Put the keys back in my drawer. Come in. Hey, uh, Tyler. Oh, hi, Ron. Mr. Ann wanted me to come and talk to you about the problem in the vents. Mr. Ann, right? Yeah. Isn't he the worst? I don't think he understands what's going on around here. I think I hate him. <laughs> I know I hate him. Right. Something really bad deserves to happen to him. Hey, guys. Oh, hi, Larry. Hey, how's hey, it going? Larry. Uh, Did you find those keys? Uh, no, I haven't found dead any animals keys. In the vent? Dead animals? I'm pretty sure. So there's a tech problem. Probably you should probably be dealing with that. I don't. That's not my department. Why is your wrench wet? Because it's wrench day. It's fresh out of the freezer. 
Yeah, I think you're misunderstanding Casual Friday. You guys celebrate Casual Friday. I celebrate Casual Wrench Day. Your performance <laughs> review is coming up really soon. I just want to remind you of that. And well, if you don't find those keys, that is going to reflect on your performance I, review. I need this job. Bad things have happened to me. My balls. Larry, go find those keys. Give you jingle, the jingle, jingle. What Thanks, was that Larry. noise? What noise? I heard some jingling. Yeah, you, you misheard. Like Christmas you ornaments? thought you heard something because of your burns. It's going to be positive for you. I thought I heard something because one of my ears is burnt. I could help you find those keys. And I could give you a glowing review. You get a 5% raise. I, I could use You've got to do something for me, though. Uh, what do you need? I want you to take this wrench. And I want you to go to Mr. Ann's office. Yeah. I want you to loosen all of the bolts in his office chair. Yeah. Make them really loose. Okay. That's all you got to do. Loosen the bolts. And, and I, uh, who knows, I might find those keys for you. Okay, you got a deal. This is just between you and me. <laughs> all right. I'm going back to my cubicle. Hmm. Well, that whole thing turned out very positive for Tyler <laughs> Karen. <laughs> It's at this point in the show when we toast our patrons at patreon.com slash beer and board games who have bought us a beer. This is not technically a beer, but it is a well-known drink of choice. And so I would like to toast to Jason P. New, Sarah Seifert, John Hancock, Ralph Hodge. Cheers! Cheers. My new hire, you, boss. Okay. Can we do it in the lunch room? Here's the thing, though. I'm supposed to go check out the... Computer room. Let's do it in the computer room. Maybe you're looking for a first aid kit. Wait, maybe the computer room is the lunch room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and anything else you guys want to happen, and then we'll decide the outcome. I would like you guys to establish what our company does. Uh, I don't believe we've met before. My name is uh, Mr. Stan Ann. I'm the boss. Oh, hi. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm supposed to fix this computer. Uh, my name is uh, Nina Jackson. Nina. I'm new. Oh, Isn't your face all smashed up? It is. <laughs> What's wrong? Are you bleeding? Oh, well. Are you okay? I took a nasty fall. I was actually looking to see if there was a first aid kit here in the computer slash lunch room. Beep, well, beep, 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 beep. Oh, what is Motherboard that? Motherboard has crashed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Well, now all the milk is going to go bad. <laughs> this computer just runs the... the Power to the refrigerator. Well, the whole Why? the whole building's a refrigerator. We make milk here. <laughs> what do you mean you make milk? This is a, a milk factory. That's not in the the title of the business. <laughs> what did you think we do here? Uh, 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 milk <laughs> reaching critical warmness <laughs> levels. Restart motherboard now. Shouldn't you be doing something the, about that? The, the place I that I. Put my application into work at is called Jensen Technologies. <laughs> Jensen. What does that have to do with milk? Tyler comes storming into the room. Why have we not restarted the motherboard? <laughs> there. I, That's I, all you have to do. Sorry, I was talking to, to the boss. Hello, Stan. Hello, whatever your name is. It's Tyler Karen. Tyler, right. I have so many employees that I trickle down to that I always. What happened forget. to your face? Well, I, uh, I tripped. In your office? Yes. Larry. Oh, a bad outcome for me. I think Ron is skimming, pun intended, off the top. Hmm. I have some really bad news. There's been some sort of breach in one of the tanks. It says tank number 38. Tank number 38, yeah, we've had problems with that before. Yeah, there's, that, that's the chocolate milk tank. We make plant-based milk here. Well, the bad news is there's been a breach in that tank, and it's reaching critical. Okay, I better page Larry. I better page Ron, Tom, Bob. We need all hands on deck for this. I can reroute the power from the refrigerator to that tank to help slow it down a little bit. That'll give us a little bit of time. We gotta send Larry down there. He's gotta get hands on this. Let Stop me, this let breach. Let me page Larry. Larry Cardboard to the lunch computer room. Larry Cardboard to the lunch computer room. Okay, I'm here. What can I do? Larry, we need you to go to tank 38. We need you to take your wrench and make sure that it does not breach. You're going to use protocol number eight. This is what I do at this place. <laughs> Who is he talking to? I'm a vending machine. <laughs> has to be negative for me, okay. Uh, how is this going to be negative for me? Oh, um, sir? Yes? Uh, also, your uh, email's been hacked. My email's been yeah, hacked. And all your uh, private information and um, other things is uh, on the internet right now. Who could have done that? That's horrible. 
sir. Well, I'm gonna need someone to unhack my email stat. I can get right on that. I will go to my office and I will look into it. Good, or else you're all fired. Vending machine. <laughs> Okay, okay, so Larry Cardboard goes down to the tanks, and that's where Ron Tom Bob is. Okay. And I've got a bucket. Oh, hey, Larry. Hey, what are you doing? I just got some chocolate milk here in this bucket, you know, for home use. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know if that's uh, allowed. I mean, I don't really care one way or the other, but oh, okay. um, I know that you've been um, skimming off the top. Just the frothy bits. Yep, <laughs> so um, why shouldn't I report this? Because I know about your deal with Tyler. You do? I was in the room, Larry. You handed me a cold wrench. Oh, yeah. I thought you were a vending machine. Not that time. It's confusing. Time yeah. passes differently for me. I'm going to take this milk out to my car. If you're not being very discreet <laughs> about it, the breach was detected by one of the new hires. Why don't you take your wrench over there and tighten up the nut? I'm going to. I'm going to do the protocol. Thanks, Larry. Yeah, you're welcome. You're the best, man. Yeah. Sorry about your nuts. It's all right. You are in accounting. I've decided this. You are oh, okay. our accountant. <laughs> Who's in the final scene before the tilt? Should it be my office and I have just sat down on my chair and have fallen unconscious? Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. sounds good. Broke. good. Yeah. All right, so the boss, Stan Ann, sits down on his computer chair. Bolts go flying. He falls backwards, split his head open again, and is knocked cold. I knock. You don't answer because you're unconscious. I enter. Mr. Ann, you okay? <clears throat> oh, Jesus. Hey, I need help in here. Yeah, what's up? Oh, wow, what happened? What know. happened, huh? What happened? Hey, oh, what happened? yeah, what happened? What happened, Mr. Ann? Oh, he looks like he's in a lot of pain. <laughs> you didn't see this. I take out the keys, and I tuck them into his Ooh. jacket pocket. Nina, hey, what's happening? I just need you to be in here because I need two witnesses. Mr. Ann is the one who took the janitor keys. I don't know why he has them. This is a huge breach of ethics. I'm gonna have to bring this up with the plant-based milk board. I think Mr. Ann is gonna have to be removed from well, he, from he running looks this corporation. Like he's bleeding. Shouldn't we call, you know, an ambulance or something? Just stay in your lane, new hire. Okay. I, well, that's why I'm just gonna. I need to access his computer to, you know, protect his email. All right. Something negative has to happen to Ron. Uh, I walk around behind Mr. Uh, Ann to try to like sit him up and I slip in the blood, and I fall down <laughs> and crack my head on the ground. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh no! We have to call stuff. God damn it, Larry! Call an ambulance. He's been waxing this floor too much. He's been waxing all the floors too much. Everyone is slipping and falling everywhere. Yeah, did somebody say my name? Yeah, Larry. First so, of all, I got those keys for you. There you go, oh, buddy. Oh, uh, finally, thank Just you. As Just as I a... promised. Yeah. I need you to go to the public phone in the lobby and call an ambulance. Okay. <laughs> for these two bozos. Yeah, because you know cell phones don't work in the building, as right. everybody knows. As everyone knows. Right. Right. Cell phones interfere with the milk process. And the only <laughs> landlines we have are in my office and in the lunch slash computer room. Do you think we should bind up their skulls or whatever? They're fine. Oh. They're fine. Oh. Okay. Oh. All right. oh. Nina, heck of a first day, huh? This has been a really <laughs> crazy time. Now we gotta do the tilt. <laughs> Determine which two players will choose tilt elements from the back of the outcome cards you've collected. Use these elements during scenes in act two. All right, so we flip these all over and then we add them up if they're both the same color. We subtract them if they're two different colors. So I have a, a red seven. Anybody beat a red seven? Probably not. I'm no. Sure. I have a blue seven. So you and I get to pick one of these tilts. I get to pick a red tilt. You get to pick a blue tilt. I'm going to pick this as my tilt. It is failure. You thought it was taken care of, but it wasn't. <gasps> Innocence. Collateral damage. I like mm. it. Next time on Beer and Board Games Fiasco, Innocence and Failure. Act two. <laughs>